they help me to wear this necklace with this z. In this part is diary product. Oh, this one's very cute. We are going to visit some tanka stores. Now I'm going to uh, craft store. There are a lot of dentists in this area. Very expensive. This is a wine craft store. And the owner told me most of them are handcraft. This is for tea. I think this one is for Zamba Halimbali powder. Some products the owner make or some from other Tibetan people. This shoe is also not very nice. This is how much? 81. Oh, why is it so expensive? Ah, it's a gold. Oh, now it's very rare. This is actually is nice. This is just for lunch. You know, Tibetan people really love to go to Lingka, go to this nice place to have holidays. So always they will bring this kind of basket. They will put snacks inside and then bring it to the place to have a nice holiday. So normally when you visit Tibetan's house, they also have this kind of basket on the desk. They also have a lot of things inside, like biscuits, cookies, and other fruits. It's very nice. See here, they also... Oh, this one is very cute. This is very cute. How much is it? Oh, why is this so cute? Oh, it's a tree. 最好的竹子可以放到很多很多年，它不会长毛吧？不会发霉吧？<笑>不会。<笑>这个得很好的，这个是放什么的？吃饭的哦，是吃饭的碗。嗯。哦，这个碗其实也挺好看的哦。买这个的多吗？多，这个贵。这贵。一千八。一千八。这是。便宜的那个上面三百多。哦，这个是。这什么木？木。我们叫锅不拉，你们叫什么？我不知道。锅不拉。嗯，锅不拉就是木头制好的。嗯。这羊毛吗？啊，这羊毛。It is real Tibetan style, very local. 包包，我买一百五嘛。嗯。这个材料那些都是装起来嘛，你看，不像咱们那个拉萨，不是不打那边。嗯。手工的刀子上。哦，不打。不打。现在他们也不做。啊，他们都不做了。他们跑到那个尼泊尔、印度，他们去打，去打工啊，啊，打工。但是印度工资不高的哦。工资不高也是，他们手工比手工比起来是。哦，还要好。还要好，真的。那主要是不丹肯定他的工资更低。低嘛？你看嘛，一天工，不丹一天工资多少？你算一下嘛。国家那个工也，一个月拿了两三千嘛。嗯。最高的是两三千嘛。人民币算起来。人民币两三千嘛。不丹工，这个是这个工啊。哦，不丹国王。就不丹的国王。哦，过年放在客厅里，放牛肉。This wood is from Bhutan。这个装白糖。I really love this kind of craft. This for Halen Bali powder, Zamba. This is made by wood. See that one? 这个叫什么？哦，藏系的面具。那个也挺好看的，有小小的哦。This one is uh, for uh, worshiping the Buddha. Put the water inside because every day the Tibetan people have to worship Buddha to uh, um, give water. This shop is very small, but you can find so many things, especially this, this table is uh, very colorful. This is how much This is how much See this one, the owner said this one is the most expensive. It's a dollar ten. Oh, this is eighty thousand yuan. This one is eighty thousand yuan because it's very very old. 
。哦。哦，他卖的这个。嗯、那里面那个呢？里面那个也好看。里面那个是牌子嘛，这个是木头做的一个箱子。Oh, this card is made of wood. Now we are in Bagot Street. It's a pilgrimage street, also a commercial street. There are a lot of shops inside. We are going to visit some tanka stores. About tanka's region, there are a lot of sayings. One saying is originating in India. From Indians, ancient religions, clothes, painting, expressed to Tibet with Buddhism. Another saying is from Indian Buddhist painting. And there's another one, say it's from China's traditional painting. Your dad's house has a house? There's a house. How many? There's a lot. In the temple, there's a house in the temple. So every house has a house, right? There's a house in the temple. There's a house in the temple. There's a house in the temple. Is there a house in the temple? 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 呃，就两三百吧。那如果是定制手工的呢？矿物原料的话，就上千上到一万也应该有。哦，这么贵的。对。啊。This is one tanka store exactly in Baku Street. 这幅唐卡的话，它有什么特点吗？这幅唐卡是颜料是用的是朱砂的颜料，上面上面的这个金色的是。纯黄金，二十四 K 纯黄金，就是画的佛像是四壁观音，雪域高原的道场。啊，这幅唐卡非常的细致，它是你们的画师画的，是别的画师画的。是我一个师哥画的。哦，很棒啊！一般像这样的唐卡的话，它需要多少年才能画成？这是画师要学习学习二十多年的一个功力才能画出这样的一个作品。哦，那您画了多少年了？我画了十三年，哇、wow. ！从小要学习这个唐卡、白描也好，这个经书， oh. 了解这个佛像的特点和这些一些比例啊，这些都要学的。白描是不是最难的？它需要的功底是最高的。白描是最重要的，白描是最。一般要学白描画多久？就好的画师都学七八年这样。哦、oh.。也会这个，就这是。一直要学习的一个，尼泊尔这边的话，就是他们那边的话，嗯，没有特别大的那种比例的要求。画佛像的时候，西藏这边是有这个严格的度量金来画出来，是坐姿、手与手的这些，再是大小这些都有一定的讲究，这样子不是随便画。就非常严格，他不能说手有长有短那种，那种是不行的，是吗？但是，左眼睛五官这些都要对称，这样画的都是圆圆满饱润的那种。哦、啊这个，我看这些拉萨的画师画的是越来越好，越来越好了、嗯。他们会有别的创造性吗？创造性的话是，我们不会在这个佛像上面的话创造，创造的话不可以，但是这风景。嗯但是这些故事有些会画一些故事情节这样。那拉萨的唐卡呢？它有什么特别突出的特点吗？再是拉萨这边用的颜料，都是珍贵的颜料，矿物颜料、金粉、银粉这些，他们这些勾线的这些颜料也是植物颜料、天然颜料来完成的。但是我们这。嗯，唐卡画一尊佛像，打底都要这个一个月左右。啊、哎、呀！用画个，用个一般的颜料，这个它的保存的能，嗯，这个时间是很短的。哦，那确实是。对，我们这些都是用的都是矿物颜料，保存千年，不褪色，不变色。这么长时间？是。是不是都是要画在布上，不能画在纸上？嗯，布上的保存时间是最长的。画在棉布上的保存时间是最长的，哦、嗯，纸上的这些的话保存不长。这边有很多的证书，需要多少年的一个工龄才能拿到证书？我们老师是学了三十几年才考的这个证书。
不是有像有市级的、省级的、国家级的这些证书？就化石拿到的证书越多，它的一个作品的价值就越高。作品会说话。作品会说话。There are a lot of alleys surrounding Baku Street, very quiet and interesting. Also, you can find tanker stores. Here is written. Tanka Center of China. This is another Tanka store. I would like to visit one by one. Can really enjoy the art of Tanka. Like these are Buddha's eyes, you just need 500 yuan. And those are Buddhism scripture, it's cheaper. It's 400 yuan because it has a lot of writings inside. Tanka store is really colorful. Like this one, the artist used five or six days right to finish it. He says it's um, simple and easy to paint. This one needs 900 yuan. And see these small tankers. Like this tankers is a very popular with the female god of fortune. This one needs 1,000 yuan. Like this should be stripper because it doesn't use mineral pigments. You see the surface of the painting more smooth. But like this one, it uses natural mineral pigments, so the surface is roughened. These are natural mineral. The artist can buy this kind of water already powdered inside. Otherwise, they also can make it as powder by hand. See this one can wear as nada. How is it? And this one, this one is smaller and lighter. But this bracelet is cheaper, has Buddhism scripture, 300 yuan. And it can protect yourself also, bring wealth to you. And it is nice. Now we are going to a mall just in the opposite side of Zhuhan Temple Square. That mall also very interesting, have a lot of stuffs. In this mall, you also can buy different jewelers. Of course, you have to discuss the price, like Buddha beads, bracelet, necklace, this kind of things, and uh, even ancestors. And this is a food store. Like this one, Yak Me will always bring this back home. It is a very popular, but you have to be careful because some stores are selling some meat, and not the real one with like dark meat inside 70% so you have to really know which store is good there are a lot of different yak milk like cookies, candies this is a fruit candy milk cookie like this one for kids is very good this is milk candy this uh, should be cheap like 20 yuan, 25 yuan like this one, I really like it. It's a milk outside, in the middle is that, inside is a nut. This one I really recommend. Now it's already 5 p.m. We're going to a famous restaurant to have lunch. It's that one. Already many people in the queue. To the menu, the price is very affordable. Milk is 5 p.m. It's a kitty. Have English. See this Dandan noodles. It is really so good. Now we are 
going to another street just in front of Xiao Zhao Temple. It is really very crowded, every day crowded. Now we're already in this commercial street, Xiao Zhao Street. And guess what? We went back to the first market and I bought this one. This would be priceless. Unbelievable. The seller first insists 150 and then I say 50 and then he insists 100 many times. Finally, I pay 50 and then I went to that wholesale store. The boss tell me even I offer 10 yuan, the seller will accept it. So you know what? 150, 10 yuan or even less. Now you know how to discuss the price in Tibet. And also in this street, you can discuss the price. This street is really noisy. You can find clothes store, hat store, shoe store, cup store, everything. Here is a one supermarket. It's a chain store. A Tibetan brand. I'm gonna go inside to buy some fruits and some vegetables for dinner. Noodles. This is dry noodles. You know this kind of dry noodles you have to put in a different pot, like a high pressure pot. This beans, I don't know how much is it. I'm gonna buy some vegetables. You know everything in Tibet is more expensive than inland China. Because the transportation is not so convenient. Maybe after five or six years. There's a train railway from Chengdu to Tibet already open. Just then everything should be cheaper. Let me think. Maybe I should buy one carrot. This is how much? This is how much? Two? 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 I buy two. Yo. Yo. This one, pomegranate is 10 yuan for half kilo. Um, persimmon also 10 yuan. This line in other cities should be, I think the price um, almost the same. 10 yuan or even a little bit less. This is good. Like this chain supermarket, the price is uh, cheaper. Other stores should be more expensive. So you have to find the right store to buy stuff in Tibet, otherwise the price is super high. This is sweet, right? Is it sweet? 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 Sour, but very juicy. It's still good. Now I got back home. This is the video. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to Switch channel. See you soon. Bye.